Hi, I'm Ron, the colorblind artist. I like to watch a lot of different videos and they always have a disclaimer like, I'm not a doctor so I cannot give medical advice, or I'm not a lawyer so I cannot give legal advice. My disclaimer is, I am not a professional artist and I shouldn't be giving art advice. But I'm going to. I know there's a lot of people around the world who are colorblind or just struggle with colors or maybe they're just beginners. Maybe there's something I can offer to encourage them to just give it a try. Uh, I haven't even been painting that long, maybe a little over a year. So my painting techniques ain't the best, but maybe I can help out somebody. Thanks for watching and enjoy the video. Okay, today I'm gonna do a painting of a chimpanzee. I did a little test painting a couple weeks ago, a uh, couple hours on it, just to see if this was going to work. Uh, I want to talk about why the, I use the colors I use. I touched on it a little bit on my last painting, but I really didn't get into detail. I just basically said the colors I was using. I wanted to show you why I use the colors I use. Well, I know I want to really good close-up of the face, and I know there's not going to be any sky or any foliage in the back, so I really don't have to worry about blue or green, but there is a lot of browns in here, and a lot of people will say, well, just use some browns. Well, that won't work, and I'll show you why. We got four different browns here. We got burnt sienna, raw umber, red ochre, and burnt umber. Now, to me, they look kind of more reddish than anything. Your browns are made up of your primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. Uh, it's just a mixture of combination of those. And it, but it looks like this raw umber might even have some black in it because when I added my white, it kind of grayed it out. So to figure out what's in these browns, that's what I do. I just add some titanium white and lighten them up a little bit. I add a little bit more white and it lightens them up even more. And I can see here, kind of what the, these browns are made of. I like this red ochre for the snout area, but the problem is you add the titanium white, it's turning pink. I don't want a pink chimpanzee. This raw umber, when I add white to it, it turns gray. To me, it looks gray. It might be blue or green. I'm not sure, but it looks gray. This raw umber though, however, I do like it for the hair. Uh, Chip's hair is black, dark brown. This one looks like it's older and might have some gray whiskers. I know all about that. So I will be using raw umber for the fur. And if I want to make some of the brown fur, I'm probably gonna have to add some of the red ochre and raw umber together to get the brown I'm looking for. So raw umber is one of the colors I will be using. I do like this red ochre. This, especially this color here, this would be good for the, the shadow areas of the, uh, the chimp. I will be using this red ochre. However, when you lighten it up with the titanium white, it turns pink on me. And I don't want a pink chimpanzee. So what do we do? We're gonna go back to the basics, primary colors, blue, yellow, red. Primary color red. This brown has a lot of red in it already, so I can choose blue or yellow. I already know blue is going to turn it purple or violet color uh, and to lighten it up. The light tones will be either light blue or purple, and I don't want that either. So the only other alternative we have is yellow. So I got to add yellow. Now over here, I took the red ochre and I added orange that I had on my last painting. And it, it, it would work, but I thought it would be easier to, to control the color if I used yellow. And down here, these are the colors I was looking for. With the red ochre and a little bit more yellow, and then yellow, red ochre, and some titanium white. This is the color I'm looking for for the snout area. So that's why I chose those colors. Uh, now this chip here I did, it's, it's got a lot of problems. Look, some things I want to fix on it. The brow, I want it to have more wave to it instead of being so flat. I want uh, kind of like a crooked smile. All right, so let's recap. Let's go over the colors we're going to use for this new painting. 
titanium white, and these are all Master's Touch. It's going to be Mars Black. It will be raw umber for the hair, fur, red ochre, and yellow. Those are all the colors I'm going to have on my palette when I do this painting. I'm going to do this on a 16 by 20 stretched canvas. And I think it's going to turn out pretty good. So let's get painting. All right, I'm starting to sketch this out and I'm just using a combination of the uh, raw umber and a little bit of titanium white. Now, this is where I'm using the uh, red ochre and the yellow for the flesh area of the chimpanzee snout. I'm using more of the red ochre in the uh, shadow areas and more of the uh, yellow and titanium white in the highlighted areas, like on the monkey's brow there, for example. Here I'm realizing I really, really like this red ochre. And here I got a couple values of the red ochre, uh, yellow, and the titanium white pre-made up on my palette. I want to stop right there and go over a couple things. First off, I apologize for my video quality. Uh, a little shaky. I'm going to build me a sturdier easel. I'm going to get me a camera that's fixed, doesn't shake around. Maybe work on the background and get me some better lighting. So hopefully that should improve the quality a little bit. Okay, as for the chimp, I think it's coming along pretty good. Uh, I basically just used the red ochre, the yellow, and the titanium white for the snout area right here. The only raw umber I used was like in a dark area, the crevices, uh, and uh, hardly any, matter of fact, I don't think I used any uh, Mars black in this area up here. There's a little bit in the eyes and on the edges of the uh, painting, but that's all the Mars black I used. Uh, when you're watching the video at fast time and I'm jumping around going real quick, 
The things I'm looking for are just the values, make sure they make sense. I want this area to make sense with the nose, and this is where I'm gonna kind of grab my values from. The lightest areas here uh, should be lighter than this area, for, for example. The dark area, the snout, there should be no other area darker than this area here. So that's what I'm working on. And also areas like this. These values are pretty close to where they're gonna be, but of course a chimpanzee, it looks like it's a 90 degree angle. I've gotta soften this curve out here, soften these curves out here. And that's basically all I'm working on right now. And then once I get this area done here, I'll go up to, I'll move on up to the, uh, the forehead with all these creases and everything. This area here, I'm not sure if it's too dark yet. It might be. I'm going to wait till you a little bit farther along. If I get to lighten it up, not that big of a problem. Okay, let's get back to painting. I learned a little trick watching Bob Ross when he would take some black and paint over it with some yellow and up would pop up some green trees. So I figured maybe I could do the same with the eyes. I'm just using a uh, yellow and Mars black and hopefully I can get the green I'm looking for.
Okay, that was a lot of fun using a couple browns, yellow, white, black. Uh, appreciate you watching. If you like my video, please like and share. Uh, and I'm also working on a uh, Patreon account. I will put a link in the description below. And I will talk more about that in later videos. Thanks. Take care. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da